Tonight, a state Supreme Court justice suspended, facing removal from the bench after threatening to shoot a group of black teenagers. Here she is right here. It's the video. It happened at a house party near Utica in the summer of 2022. Body cam video, the stuff you're seeing right here, and report findings from the incident just now being released. This week, the Commission on Judicial Conduct calling the judge's actions racially offensive, saying she can no longer serve as a fair and impartial judge. Or they'll be shot on the property. Well, I'm just every day. I'll no. shoot them on the no, property. Every day. New video just released capturing State Supreme Court Justice Aaron Gall no, threatening to shoot I'm a done. group of black They're teenagers. The they'll be shot on the property. Well, I'm just letting you know that because the best case when they scenario, trespass, you can shoot so them you on think the property. They should just come here and just no, no. I'm just saying. saying every day. I'll shoot them on the no, property. Every, no. The judge was at a high school graduation party at her friend's house when authorities say there was an argument between invited and uninvited guests. A group of black teenagers who received a text invite to the party with the address then arrived, and a fight broke out shortly after. Kind of split open pretty far. Yeah, I've been telling him since I saw God eyes on him that he needs to go get checked out. He was definitely hit with something. During the scuffle, the teens lost the keys to their car and couldn't leave the neighborhood, appearing to upset Gall, who wanted the children to leave, but refused to turn over their car keys if she found them. If the key turns up, we're absolutely going to throw it in the toilet. You're welcome. Somebody's sister's coming to pick them up and get them out of here, and I'm going to get his information. And I'm going well, to find the back keys. Of the cop car and let him wait the there. Five law enforcement agencies arrived on the scene during the more than hour long ordeal, during which the New York State Commission on Judicial Conduct said the judge repeatedly invoked her judicial office. Yeah, 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 and that's yeah, yeah. Judge Gall. Right, I'm yeah. a right, judge. Right, I'm right, telling you, yeah, get yeah, off the Hey, dude, go in at the car. I'm a Supreme Court judge. I know, I'm I know you judge. Sitting here. Threaten gun violence. I'll shoot them on the no, no. If I have to clear it out, I will. And both criticized and pledged favor treatment for the police. The good part is, I'm always on your side. You know I'd take anyone down for you guys. You know that. You know that. You know I am on your side. Video also captures the judge making comments about the black teen's intelligence levels. They don't look like they're that smart, honestly. I know. They're not going to business school. That's funny. And praising her son for beating up partygoers, among other comments. Hey, hey, he put a smackdown once okay. he got hit. Hey, I he didn't say it was one sided. The commission now calling for the judge to be removed from the bench. The commission administrator telling CBS 6 it is utterly unacceptable for a judge to threaten gun violence, exhibit racial prejudice, promise favorable treatment for the police, or disparage a law intended to keep guns away from dangerous people. Any one of these things would undermine public public confidence in the administration of justice. That all this and more was committed by one judge disqualifies her from further service on the bench. Now, Gall's attorney did provide a statement in a brief released by the commission saying the judge was in shock at the time, saying the incident triggered a trauma response to her own assault in the 90s. The judge saying in part, I was acting as a mom who just witnessed something awful. I wasn't acting appropriately or thinking the right way. She also says she attended counseling following this incident. It's now up to the Court of Appeals to decide whether or not to remove Gall. She's asking for a punishment lesser than removal. She's suspended while her fate is decided and has 30 days to appeal. Her 14-year term is set to expire next year.